hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to do a simple tutorial on how we can detect different biomedical entities from a text corpus and medical report so uh, having said i would like to introduce a model and a package to you guys so this is called biomedical NER model and currently this model is hosted in hugging face hub so anyone can download it and use it for your purpose and i could see like a lot of downloads uh, over the month and like uh, this 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 even i had actually showed up to around 40k uh, at some point so like uh, i'm really glad to see people are actually using this uh, model and uh, using that in their application i could see a lot of uh, spaces which have been created in this and uh, yeah so i hope this model is actually useful so with this particular model i also created a python package which i will be talking to you guys about but before that i would like to give a glimpse about what exactly this model is doing and uh, what is it uh, what what's the purpose of this particular model so first of all this is a named entity recognition model which is trained on macrobat data set which has a lot of uh, entities 100 plus entities are there it, it, it was trained on uh, a laptop uh, GPU machine and uh, like uh, so this this model is part of uh, the research study on AI in biomedical field we have already written a paper and like we are actually waiting for it to get published so uh, we also kind of uh, open sourced a Python package uh, with respect to this model and uh, like if you just want to try out this particular model it's it's very straightforward just go to this hub I'll, I'll give the link in the description you can actually see a couple of examples here and I've provided some cases here for example like okay let me switch to some other example so so it will automatically detect the age sex uh, clinical event description then procedures structure biomedical structure sign symptoms and so and so there are a lot of uh, entities actually so so that's that's all about the model coming on to the Python package so this is uh, this is a python package which has been uh, hosted actually on pybike uh, so this this model has the capability to recognize uh, so many entities some of them are actually kind of duplicates but still like uh, they they are actually quite uh, capable to recognize many entities uh, like it even has the capability to process the pdf data so like we can just feed in a pdf report it will automatically annotate so i'll, I'll show you in this particular demo so uh, yeah so first of all this is the installation step so we need to kind of uh, it's it's available in pipi repository so we just you you guys have to kind of uh, install it with uh, uh, this particular command pip install and then there is uh, like make sure you have the pytorch dependency because it's it's since it's available in the transformers library it has the dependency of pytorch and uh, now we'll we'll see how we can actually kind of uh, work through with this uh, particular package and i will go show you some specific examples on how this model is performing and like you guys will be able to get a glance on like what exactly it's it's doing so first we are going to see how we can uh, use this particular model so uh, directly jump into this hugging face hub and i I've, I've already provided the usage details here so make sure you install transformers library and the pytorch uh, dependency and so just copy paste and uh, just provide the snippet here so i've already provided an example here so uh, so we are calling the pipeline and auto tokenizer and auto model for token classification this is because it's a linear model actually token classification model and then we are calling the tokenizer from here plus we are calling this uh, biomedical NER or from this uh, repo so next we are just defining the pipeline object wherein like we are calling uh, NER uh, then model tokenizer then I'm just putting aggregation strategy equal to simple so that like when the entities are actually clubbed together it will actually club in that uh, that means like when it's detecting and it will actually kind of join when it comes to the output uh, actually so uh, then there is an extra parameter device so if you have gpu you can actually pass it on to gpu and if you, if it's not then by default it will take the compute so like uh, yeah so so i'm just running all of these things and uh, okay 
so let me just put my cursor here so now uh, yeah so if I am running the pipeline object then I will be okay let me just so you can see the output is coming in a list format and inside a list you can see multiple dictionaries wherein each dictionary will contain what exactly is the starting ending of that particular token detector token and what is the entity group and what is a word so it is actually pal i think it is actually like uh, yeah so as i said it is kind of like uh, breaking uh, that particular uh, at, a, at a token level basically so uh, we have different uh, event that means entity groups and what exactly is uh, uh, data which have been extracted for each uh, entity so that's that's about this uh, package sorry that's about this model and now we'll get into how we can use the package actually so for that uh, you can directly head into uh, this um, github page and or like you can go to the pypy link also any anything is fine so there uh, directly get into this uh, section wherein uh, how you can load this particular package so first of all as i said you need to install the install the library uh, and after installing the library you can actually load the function in this format so so this is the import statement which we have to actually give so uh, from this package we are actually loading a function called ner prediction function and this ner prediction function will be running on this particular corpus and uh, so let me just go ahead and load this so now i'm going to save this uh, run this doc so i'll be getting some string here okay and uh, now I need to get the output as a data frame so let me just um, put it as a result so I'm just giving it as a result here okay so yeah so I already invoked it in GPU so that's the reason why I it threw error so like I have to specify it as GPU because it is a GPU compute so now the result is available and the best part is like it will automatically create the table for you so uh, not like uh, the dictionary format which may be confusing sometimes but this will automatically combine the entities and it will actually give you the result so like sign symptom is palpitation and earlier like it was kind of um, what to say it was breaking into two separate but like it's not a big deal because anyway they are giving the index and so and so we can combine at any point but this package actually give you the flexibility to kind of um, combine the data still there are some issues like it have been opened but still like it will it will work so uh, that's that's about this particular uh, function called enya prediction so enya prediction literally does uh, the entity recognition and it will kind of uh, result or the it will it will actually print the data in a data frame format which is very easy to work on actually and it has the entity group column value and what is the score ideally so if at all you guys need to trim down the results you can actually easily trim it down so this is the output of this particular package and uh, there is one more functionality which is very important so like uh, let me just copy this uh, particular functionality so this is a very very important feature wherein like there is a function called pdf annotate within this uh, module of uh, so let me give this particular example so so in this particular case yeah what is the package name yep. So uh, the file name is this and I'm just running this particular file. I'm, I'm already there in that particular directory. So I'm not changing the directory to run there. And here I'm just changing it to GPU in my case. But yeah, based on the compute, you can actually select. So now here we have the flexibility to give uh, three things. So it will be like 
either you can give PDF or we can give I think it is uh, CSV yeah CSV so there are three formats so one is PDF it will return the PDF in the annotated format then we have a CSV file it will return a CSV file as output and then all so it will return both so it, it there are three attributes there so let's let's go on and give a PDF and see what exactly is happening so also let me just uh, uh, give another variable as um, doc out so that, so that we will be able to see the data frame as well so I'm, I'm going at going ahead and running this particular command so so ideally what's happening is like within this function the NER model is running plus it will automatically annotate each pages in that particular document so now what 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 really happened so now we got a data frame which has all these entities uh, different entity groups values so it's it's combined like it's it's for their entire uh, document actually it's it's a very big list so often times it may be tricky like when we are working with the document if it's not a small text corpus we, we didn't find any issue here because it was a very small text corpus but like when it comes to a large document and analyzing if, if we need to have a quick analysis uh, it's it's very difficult so this is the original document and let me open the annotated document so annotated document is nothing but you, you can see here in the name there is this uh, annotate towards the end of the document so let me open this annotated document and uh, here you can actually see if you go to enable editing and you can actually see the entities are actually annotated in this uh, document okay so it may look little complex because like there are a lot of entities because it's it's like this model actually annotate a lot of entities but if you have to filter for some specific entity so for example to quickly skim through some of the entities which have been uh, focused in this particular document so let's say i want to understand age disease disorder and sex in this particular document so like if i apply this then we will see the entities marked with that uh, labels basically so covid 19 two year old obese patient coronavirus disease covid 19 acute respiratory syndrome so like we will be able to see the signs symptoms of that particular uh, like what it's it's mentioned so so you guys saw like how easy it's kind of uh, to work with that particular document when it comes to like uh, filtering for that particular entity so like so that's the second feature kind of uh, pointing to so we will be able to kind of uh, annotate a medical report very easily so like just give the document so let's let's look one more example so let me give this uh, document and uh, so it's just that we have to specify the document and now instead of pdf so you saw so there are a couple of uh, uh, values so like you can give csv so csv will return so let's look into that csv option so csv will nothing but return uh, kind of uh, the output in a csv file so here you can actually see the file in a csv format wherein uh, pdf file name then page number is also indicated so which is important because uh, there will be a lot of pages in a medical report and sometimes if you have to filter it for some specific page it's important so that option is also available so now let's look into the all option here so if we give all then what really happens so so if we give all then ideally it will annotate the document as well as returns this particular csv document so if you see here we can see the annotation file annotate file plus this document so let's look into the annotation file so you can see here like the data is actually annotated and uh, made it available so like and uh, we can we can easily kind of uh, work with this particular information by purely subsetting like it's it's uh, very very much uh, helpful actually to end of subset for only those entities which are being kind of uh, detected and one more thing like it will it will easily kind of uh, show 
so for example it will easily sorry i didn't enable it yeah so yeah so it will easily kind of uh, show us the what to say the entities and here also like you can also see like for example if we directly jump into here we can see like it will also show it here so that uh, in the page page by page what exactly are the entities so it's, it's easy to kind of uh, understand and it will it will annotate in that jump so these are the functionalities which are there in this particular package and like we are we are continuously improving this package we'll be incorporating more features into this one and uh, yeah that's that's it for today and thanks a lot guys for watching this uh, video so if you have any questions or comments just feel free to reach out to me thank you thank you everyone have a great day